Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video series, I'm gonna explain how to create a progress donut chart in Excel. So this here is a progress donut chart, and it just displays the percentage completion towards a goal. And in this first video here, I'm gonna explain how to create this chart. And then in the next video, in part two, we're gonna look at how to apply some conditional formatting to the chart so the bar color changes as the percentage changes. So right now we're at 56%. If I was to change this to 86%, we can see the bar changes to a blue color. And then if I was to change this to something over 95%, the bar changes to a green color. So in the second video, we'll learn how to apply this conditional formatting. And creating these charts is a fairly simple process. It just requires this donut chart and then a few formulas. There's no complex macros or coding or anything like that to create these charts. And before I jump into how to create the chart, I quickly want to explain why and when we would use these charts. So the donut chart has become very popular in mobile applications, news media. Uh, we see these just about everywhere. And that's because they allow us to quickly see the progress of a single metric. And they also remind us of food. So why wouldn't we like these, right? Well, the donut chart can be used on our dashboards in Excel as well. So here I have an example of three donut charts that could be used on a dashboard. And again, they display a single metric that shows the percentage completion or progress towards a single goal or target or just about any kind of performance you might be measuring within your business on one specific metric. All right, so let's go ahead and create the progress donut chart. So the first thing we need to do is set up the source data. And in this case, it's very simple. It just requires two cells with numbers in them. The first cell is gonna be the actual amount or the amount of progress that's already been completed. And this is a number that you can either type into the cell or it could be calculated based on some other results from a report or something like that. And then the second cell is going to be the remainder amount to 100%. So it will really just be a simple formula which is equals you can do one or 100 percent and then minus and we're going to subtract this actual value right here and that'll return the remainder amount so both of those cells need to add up to 100 percent now in this case here i have a formula that's a tiny bit more complex and it's just going to return a zero if the actual amount is over 100%. So if you are calculating this number and this number could possibly go over 100%, uh, we still want our remainder amount to be zero and that way the donut chart will still display uh, the visual properly. So this uh, formula here just does that. It takes the max of 100% or this actual amount if it's over 100% and then subtracts the actual amount. So once we have those two numbers in place, we're just gonna select both cells. Then we're gonna go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and from the pie chart dropdown, we're gonna choose Donut Chart, we'll just click that, and that'll add our donut chart right here to the sheet, and that's basically it. We just now need to do some formatting. So the first thing I do is remove the legend here. You can just left click on the legend and hit the delete key on the keyboard. We do not need the legend. And then we also probably wanna change the colors here. So this is our 95% bar that's blue. Uh, you could leave it as blue or change it to another color. And you just do that by left clicking on this twice. So I've left clicked twice to select that series. And then we can go to the format tab on the ribbon and choose the shape fill color and maybe we wanna make it green. And then we can do the same thing for the remainder amount here, which is currently orange. Just left click on it twice. And then again, format tab, shape fill. We might wanna make that a light gray or a light green. You can choose any color you want, but that just tells us that that is a remainder amount that's left to be completed. And then finally, we might wanna add a label here that also displays the percentage completion. And I like to use a text box for that. So we're first gonna select the chart, just make sure the chart is selected. Then go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. Under the Illustrations group, we're gonna choose Shapes, and then we'll insert a text box. And we can just draw the text box right here somewhere in the middle of the donut. And then for this text box, we're gonna link this to this cell that contains the actual value. So just left click here on the outside on the border of the text box. And we're gonna go up to the formula bar and type the equal sign and then select the cell that contains that amount. 
So I have cell B2 referenced there in the formula, and then I'll hit enter. So now we have the text box linked to the value of this cell right here. And when we change that value, so if I was to change it, let's say we just change it to 50%, hit control enter, we'll see that our uh, label or our text box is now changed to reflect that same value as well. So these two values are linked. And now we can go uh, modify or format our text box. We might wanna put the value in the middle there and then also change the size, something like this, and then maybe the color of the font to match our bar. So now we have a fairly nice looking donut chart. Uh, if you want to make the bar or the donut bigger or thicker, you can do that by right clicking here, choosing format data series. And then over here in the format data series pane, we can just change the donut hole size to make it smaller. And that would make the bar bigger. So you can kind of play with that until you get a size that looks good and uh, line everything up and you have a progress donut chart. And I should also mention that the reason we put the text box inside the chart, we selected the chart first and then put the text box in there, is that this text box will now move with the chart. So if we move the chart around on the sheet, the text box within it also moves with the chart. So that's nicer, makes it much easier to move these around. And as we'll see in the next video, we're gonna add multiple text box there for our different conditional formats. So again, there's the progress donut chart. Pretty simple to set up, just a few cells, one formula, and a donut chart. Important things to remember is to make sure that both of these values add up to 100%. And if this goes over 100%, we want the remainder amount to be zero. So in the next video, we're gonna take a look at that, applying that conditional formatting to our chart so that when the chart value or the actual progress value changes, the color within the bar can change as well. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below the video and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.